Hello, what is up? Oh, I wanted to get my mic out before we started. And I totally forgot so that we'd have better um, noise. I wish I could pause this and then take it all back. But we're gonna get this rolled out, whether or not I have a mic. Um, let me know in the comments below if you feel like you it's too echoey or how it is. It's okay if you give me a negative, it's fine. And it's okay if you think it's great. If it's great and we're just gonna roll with it because that's life and this is the real world, then let's roll this out too. But this is my new haircut. Yesterday I did style it. I meant to go live yesterday, but my daughter got really, really sick and it was my husband's birthday and I could not juggle all the things. So the one thing that went by the wayside was this. If you are new to this page and you have not subscribed already, I do makeup and hair. I focus on trying to help you create more natural makeup looks for your look, but also try and keep things extremely easy when it comes to hair and when it comes to with makeup. So today we're going to style my short haircut with me as I roll you through this, what I use. Um, I am going to be using a flat iron to curl my hair today, and I'm going to teach you my method called the ballerina curls. You probably have already seen it, but make sure you comment. If you have any questions, I do go back and answer questions after the fact and see the comments too. Um, if you haven't seen any of my past tutorials, um, I always try to change up my haircut just a little bit. So if you, um, have hair that you kind of want th this, but you don't want these textured layers now, and you'd rather have more of a blunt cut, there's haircuts for that. Um, I have never had this dark of hair ever, if you go through and look at my other videos too, but everything is super helpful from the different hair tools that I use and for what I bring to the table in that. So we're gonna try and do the easiest way to curl your hair my hair, <laughs> yeah, the easiest way to curl with a flat iron on short hair. That's what we're covering today. And I hope that I promise you at the end that when you're done with this tutorial, you are going to feel like you can go and master this yourself. Um, I have medium fine hair. I have a lot of hair and, um, and that's just kind of how we roll out. So yesterday when I did do my hair, um, if you want a link, um, you can ask for it in the comments too, but I have a hair tool. You can kind of see right here, these crimp marks. So it's from this hair tool called the volume and the volume allows my hair to one, not get greasy as fast, but two, keep a volume. So this, this hair hasn't been brushed out since I did my hair yesterday and see how it has. So this is like my head and see how it has that volume. And so I love the volume. I try not to turn it up super high because it's at the root of the hair and I do want to protect my hair as much as possible. Um, so I tried not to um, get too close to that, but we're going to roll this out and I want to keep this tutorial shorter for you too. So I'm using a flat iron from Lange. Um, I'm in the mix. I'm in the, like, I'm going to try a different flat iron and I'm also looking for a brand new curling iron. I don't care the brand, nothing like that, because I want to compare it to what I currently have. I just want a one inch curling iron. So if you have a brand that you're like, dude, this one is awesome. Put it in the comments and I will go and read all about it and read all the things and see if it's one that I add to my pile. I've tried to pattern my hair after years. Oh my gosh. I love it. Um, hope daughter's feeling better. She's in us having a struggle. She's having a struggle. We were actually supposed to go out of town, um, but she is just not doing too groovy and it's kind of a mystery. So we're still waiting on the lab work. In fact, I got to call that before and see if we can get some answers to it. So um, let me grab one thing that I forgot to add to my pile because normally I don't curl on day two hair. So normally on day two hair, um, I just let it ride out with this. So whatever I did is what I, what I do, but I wanted to bring you something <laughs> that I didn't get it done yesterday. I'm so sorry. So we're just going to roll this out. Um, I have the heat. So whenever somebody asks me what heat setting mine is on, here's the thing. We all have different hair. So you need to make sure that the heat setting that you put yours on, you never start at the highest that the heat can go ever, never, never. 350 is a really good like universal heat um, that a lot of um, professionals and everything use. So if you have fine hair, you're going to want to maybe try 320 to start, see how it curls. Um, Fine, not, or sorry, sorry, fine, easy to hold a curl hair is, is really good with ceramic and all the others do. This is titanium. So this one that I have is titanium 
and we will roll this out. Hello. He's going to love it. Um, it has cool air blowing while I'm growing. Oh, the, the cool air going through it. So that's probably kind of like my um, Leduo. Yeah, the cool air thing. I love that. I love it because it just, it helps hold in that curl and all that jazz. While curling both. Yeah, so I have that one, but the T-Y-M-O. Great, thank you. Yeah, I want more of like a curling iron, curling iron that it clamps, not these kind of clamps where it's flat iron or whatever, but I do love that hair tool a lot. Well, like one, one I don't have that same brand, but one like it. Okay, so I'm gonna put on, this is just, this one's from Hotty Toddy. It's a heat protectant mist. Um, heat protectants are made, so I personally put in a heat protectant before I blow dry my hair so that I don't have to do this. I'm gonna take out the earrings. Um, oh, it's a curling iron. Has a blowing while I'm curling, but but both curling iron and flyer. So, but it's not, it's, it's probably not the kind of curling iron I'm thinking of. So I'm thinking, um, I don't think my curling iron's in here. So I know it's a, but it's more like a flat iron that has these air pockets all around it, right? And it just comes all, like there's air pockets and so the fan blows out, but the inside of it looks like flat iron. Is that right? So I'm looking for like the round, like it's fully round on the inside and it rounds over on the inside. I'll have to look yours up, but I'm a little confused. Cause it sounds like my hair tool that is flat on the inside, like a flat iron. All right, so when I was telling you, where did I, where did I, where did I, where did I put my, there it is. Okay. What I was telling you though, <laughs> sorry about that, that we're gonna cover today is, since it, it is the easiest way that you can curl your short hair, um, this is what I call the ballerina curl. This is my own name for it. This is my own thing. So I was trying to think about what could be the easiest way that I, that I taught for people to, um, to curl their hair because they have such a hard time with flat irons. There's a couple different ways that you can do it for sure. Like you would think that there isn't, but there's a couple different ways that you can do it. And one of them is what I call the ballerina curl. So I want you to think of a ballerina that comes up out of a jewelry box. Okay. What does she do? She stays in one place and she spins and she spins and she spins. Okay. And she keeps just turning. So what we're going to do with the ballerina curl is we are going to spin and spin. Now, even though I have already curled my hair, the awesome thing about short hair is one, you can, you don't have to like fully um, curl the bottoms. You can just make sure it's curled under. And then you can go in and you can kind of skip things on the underneath side. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab this piece and this is going to stay here. But what's happening here is this is just gonna keep spinning and it stays put like the ballerina, okay? So it just stays put like the ballerina. So we're gonna just keep spinning, and as we keep turning, it goes just like that ballerina, and you get those curls. So I'm gonna do that over on this side as well. And you want, you don't wanna to take too big of sections because remember when you do. So one thing that people talk about with a flat iron is that their flat iron can pull their hair. So if you are holding it at an angle or if your sections are too wide, when this comes in through here and it's happened to right on the edges of either one of those, then you have a higher chance of it pulling your hair. So when you do your pieces, you wanna make sure that you keep it within a, um, like a one inch or less. And as you pull through, it's not taking over the whole entire thing. But notice that when you pull through, especially if you're coming in sideways, you want to make sure that you turn it so that you're following through with that ballerina curl, even as it gets into the back. And then as it's in the back, you brush it as it's in the back, I tend to turn my head to the side. And then as I'm coming through here, I kind of have my hand help guide me through. Now I know people who have shoulder issues that they can't do that. So if we want to keep our arms down more, you're going to do the same thing with your arms down low. Keep this tilted because we always want to keep it up and down. We never want to turn it to the side and then keep your arms tucked in so they're nice and protected and ride that on through. Okay. 
Um, cannot wait to try the ballerina. Yes, I'm so glad. Oh, let me see some other pockets. Okay, all right. So there's that bottom piece. Then we're gonna come in and do the other sections. So the tool that I told you that I used earlier called the volume, they have, um, I shared it in my newsletter. If you want a link to sign up for my newsletter, make sure that you put that in the comments too, because I'll get you a link to sign up for the newsletter. But every week I, I build a newsletter that has very, very different things. And I started this thing that I wanted to do a product of the week. I'm either going to do a product of the week or shouting out like a small business person um, throughout the week too. And the product of the week that I just shared was the volume, the volume petite, no, the volume, no, not the petite the Lumi. The Lumi is the name of the one that I have. They, they have like the classic, the petite and the Lumi. And I believe, I believe that's what it is. That's the one I have. Um, and that is, it's, it just goes at your roots. So these roots all are crimped. They're, I don't know if you can kind of see it. My roots are all crimped. So it stays up off of my scalp and I get, and I keep that volume. It is the best tool. It is so awesome. Okay, so notice with the ballerina curl, even though my hair is going up higher, I'm still able to stay in one place and just keep spinning. And as I go through even more, same thing. And same thing. Next row. And usually at this point, I don't use the clips anymore because that just takes longer. And why, why do that? Mm. So we're going to curl and spin. I have a one inch curling iron Revlon, had it for a long time. And it gives you the bell. Gives me the bell. Perfect. Little Sam says, hi, hello, hello, hello. Okay. I know I have a, I think mine was a Con Air. I had it like all through hair school, all through, I think it just barely bit the dust. Like, do they even make them like that anymore? Honestly, do they make them made to last like that? Because it's like a washer and dryer. You never do know what you're going to get, right? All right. So as you curl to, you kind of, once you get to the top, you need to decide how you're going to part things. Like if you're going to part things. The other thing you need to decide is how high do you want to hold your curl ups? Because you could keep it here and keep it low, or you would start building up higher. So even with the higher, I'm still keeping it um, more so um, vertical. And, but I just want to bring up that volume. So I'm not laying it on its side. So no sleeping. Flat iron is not allowed to sleep. <laughs> Hello. All right. And then as we get here closer to the front though, I do keep these ones just about half and I still curl it halfway like that. Okay. And then I'm going to show you, um, I'm gonna show you one other thing. I'm not doing this fully in this tutorial, but there's another thing that you can kind of do to make it. And that is, you're gonna bring it forward like fair faucet, kind of like that and see the curl that it gives you. So if the ballerina curls too hard, try that way too. But this way is my fast and easy way with the ballerina curl that makes it easy for you. And she just keeps spinning just like that. Okay, so I'll do this side. Like so. The other thing, I didn't do it on this one, but if you wanna show more dimension in your hair, do forward and back. So I kinda got just talking and I didn't, do forward and back. So this one's now forward. Another one was back. And I probably shouldn't have done that because yesterday I did them. I did some forward and I did some back. But all you can always um, make it random, make it whatever. 
but doing them forward and back adds more dimension. If you always feel like you're getting like the Shirley Temple ringlets and you don't want that ringlet look, uh, ask yourself, oh, did I do all of them back? Because chances are you did all of them back, which is going to give you more of that ringlet look, which you're not going to like as much. So just remember that. And we'll get this. And we'll get this tutorial wrapped up. So again, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, chances are you have, because you probably got notified that I went live. Um, but if you haven't, or if you want to share me with your friend uh, that I have on this, these tutorials, then that's boss. One goal that I have, I am so dang close to having um, 100,000 subscribers, which um, YouTube actually gives awards out for that. I think you have to submit for it, but they even give awards out for that. And I was like, okay, well, I want, I want it on that. So my goal, I'm going to get to a hundred and a hundred thousand subscribers. I think that's pretty awesome. It's been years in the making and I appreciate every single person who has subscribed thus far and continuing to do so. What did I do to this one? There we go. And what did we do to this one? Silly me. Okay, we'll get this back section right here. Break down two. We will curl this up. What do you think? Do you think you can do a ballerina curl or is this something that you already do? Okay, so then all I do is I kind of ruffle it up. So I have, um, I was actually testing this one out. I'm not a huge fan of tester sprays for the hair, but this one I'm liking. This one is from IGK. It's the volumizing texture spray. Um, what do we got going on here? So I just take it through my hair. I don't spray a ton because it can be overbearing if you do. So that's why I lift and let it fall as I go. I need my bob a little longer like yours. My hair is very thick and great youth think of peeps with shoulder props like, oh, you are so welcome. Well, I get it. I get it. I have a wonky shoulder myself, but I also, I, I, I have had some people who have reached out with even blow drying that they've needed like blow drying help for shoulder issues. And so like even with raising my hand up here like this, you just have, you get to the point where you keep, if you keep the shoulders tucked in to your sides, it helps you realize like, oh, I can actually just move around my head for this. Now, don't hurt your neck because we got to have that working. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can do that as well. But having it a little bit longer helps too. It really, I have loved having it just a little bit longer. So here you go. We are, I'm, I'm done. The only thing that I would do is see how the curls are sitting different on one on each side. And I actually have like, this hair kind of goes this way and this one always wants to fall forward. So the way that I can shift and change that is first just try and manipulate the front and see if that works on its own. If it doesn't, which it's not wanting to, then that Farrah Fawcett type style thing that I showed you, you're gonna just come here and pull it all forward and it's gonna do that. Okay, and then same thing on this side. So pull your pieces that you want. And then you're gonna remember how your hand was holding it on the one side, you're gonna hold it like that on the other side and you're gonna Farrah Fawcett it forward. It might not, this might not work as good because it was already curled the other way and it's gonna make it mad. We are going, but you get the drift. The first time you curl, make sure you do it like that too. But then you can balance it out, even it out, how you like it. And then the only other thing, um, hello, let's see, has gone too bad now. You're, oh, bless. Okay, so the only other thing now is, um, let's say you do your hair to prone down center and you don't like how it is, you can always put it over to the side so it shows more of that. You just have to remember that the volume 
if you did use that volume tool, you want to make sure that you don't part it too much because then you see the volume to a tool shining through. Okay. All right. That is all. This is how it goes. Remember, you can always subscribe to this channel. You can always share this channel. You can always um, hit the like buttons and all that jazz. And then if you have any questions, you can put it in the comments. And I do go through those comments after the fact too. So if you need me, you know where to find me. You can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on TikTok, and on Pinterest. Okay. Take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.